there, you're watching a SEO content machine next changelog video and today I'm going to go over the January 2020 changelog and discuss some of the new features that were added and how to use them. So let's uh, begin at the top and work our way down. You can always check the newest changelog on our blog at seocontentmachine.com slash blog. So first of all, in the preview article tool now, I've added the ability to spin content that's in the text box. So if you go under edit to rewrite, you can choose a spinner and spin that content. So for example, and there you go, spun content in the preview article tool. Next, inside the new tool that's been added which is the scrape archive org so if we go to new scrape archive org here we have the ability now to scrape the wayback machine for content that's been archived previously so to give you an example you would enter a domain name you would choose the start date and the end date so i know this site's about three years old so I'll go all the way back to 2017 and then finish it off in 2018, sorry. If I click the Retrieve URLs button, it's going to give me a preview of all the content that's been indexed and archived in archive.org. So what you want to notice is that archive.org only indexes certain pages at a certain time. So it doesn't mean that because there's an archive on the 21st of December, for example, that it's actually an archive of the full entire site. It only archives pages which have been indexed or spidered. So by choosing a date from 2017 to 2018, it's written 144 results. Now, not all of these have content in them. If you look closely, we see that the site's been mirrored both with the .org and the .org80 port. So this is where the two filter boxes come into handy. So I'm going to type in the 80 and click the retrieve URLs button again. What you notice is all the, the port 80 stuff has been removed and we've got 570 results. I'll say there's a lot of URLs that go to a tag so I can scrape this but it's not going to really return any content. So if I want to remove anything that reverses the tag, once again I just enter a comma and tag retrieve URLs and it's brought the list down even more. So going down through this list, seeing what's been indexed online and what I want to download, I can choose what content I want on my hard drive. So let's say for example I'm happy with the results here. All I need to do there is go down to the bottom and uh, double check that I am happy with the save location of the files. Also, if I want to use this list as is and uh, use it for any other tool, I can click the export URL list link, which will allow me to export all these lines URLs to a text file on my hard drive. By default, anything that's been downloaded here will be saved in HTML. You can remove all the HTML and force it to download as a plain text. And alternatively, for each line of plain text that's written too far, you can wrap in another a HTML tag such as the paragraph tag. Moving on now to the article writing assistant. You can now enter up to five keywords here that's been lifted from the previous limit of only one keyword. This will help you find more relevant content for when you're writing. Once you've finished running the writing article assistant, when you click on sentences to add them to your article, sentences that you have used are now displayed with a strike through Here's a new addition to the article creator task that will make life a lot easier for many people. Once you've finished running a task, previously if you wanted to see the location of where the article files were written, you would click on this green button here and that opens your OS file explorer program. However, in the newest update, if you click on the blue button, instead what it's going to do is going to navigate to that folder and actually open up the text file so you can see the original content and you can even preview it. So what I'm doing here is clicking next file and it's going through all the 
files in the folder and I can also click on the spin again button to see example spins. While we're here in the preview article tool, there is a lines menu option now that if you click on it will remove all duplicates in the original tab. So let's give an example. So if I click lines, remove duplicates, I will get left the lines of content that are unique. For those of you using the WordPress upload poster, when you go to the select a blog screen, when you go to add edit blog, if you move next, there's a button now that says import blogs CSV. So what that means is if you create a CSV file with the domain, a comma, the username, comma, the password, and optionally the group you want it set, you can actually import all your blogs at once without having to add them in one at a time. This small little tweak helps you to read the log files a lot easier. So if you notice when I scroll down on this log that uh, some of the more important log messages are now colored, so blue, green. Some of the less important ones appear a bit lighter in gray. And this will give you the ability to scan through and pick out the most important messages if you are wanting to troubleshoot any problems with your task. This is a pretty big change for the article creator. Inside the custom content filter URLs, previously you could only grab up to 100 results. Now this has been changed. It's now possible to up this number to 300. When you do this, SEO Content Machine X will actually go through and download uh, three pages of search results from Google. So it's going to give you a much broader base for you to download and find content that you need. Finally, I just want to mention for those of you who are running article creator tasks with a massive list, you have two options now. You can sort your task by name to find them. You could group them and only show what's in the group. And of course, finally, this has been added. You can filter your task by name. So I'm going to create a draft. And I have two tasks here. If I click and type in SEN, it's only going to display tasks with the name Censure. Now I just want to add that I've quickly gone over some of the new features that I added, but of course there have been a page full of bug fixes and refactors and other changes. If you want to see the full detailed list of them, please check it out at the change log, which is always posted on the seocontentmachine.com slash blog website.